and and he doesn't need to indulge in this i would advise dr yasser qadi to stop indulging in this because this is not his field he is not an authority uh, to 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 say i mean when he wrote his book introduction to the quranic sciences he was a, a graduate student from madina university okay he was in his early 20s he was a student okay i don't know what his exact qualification in the quran is what he needs to do he he needs to delegate the task to the ahlul quran to the quran to the masters of the quran people who have done phd's in the qiraat and they have mastered the transmission of the quran he needs to delegate to them he just threw qadi under the bus threw him under the bus and he didn't got i get upset with a job he got upset with qadi why did qadi mention these things why did qadi just not simply hold out the birmingham folios if you ask me this question today what would you write on a blank notebook if we were if we were uh, if we were asked to write the quran on that blank yeah. uh, notebook i love? would write i love? would write exactly this this was what and, and why 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 i would write that because this is exactly what's here mm -hmm. from page 1 to the page last if you go to islamic awareness dot org there is a list of qurans from the first century we have the entirety of the quran the entirety of the quran from the first century the entire quran we have it from the first century okay in different libraries okay we even have complete copies the husseini mosque manuscript which is from the first century in cairo okay husseini mosque manuscript is from the first century of islam it's in cairo it is 99% 99% complete the complete text of the quran only first two or three pages are missing surah suratul fatiha and maybe one uh, the uh, the very early verses of uh, surah baqarah are missing there are so many mistakes he made in just those few minutes he mentioned that he mentioned that the birmingham folios prove he said why did he just show this because there's no kira see kira are only the dots uh, added and the vowelization that's done in the 8th and 9th century so the kira is not the most damaging material this is not even that damaging when kadi said this is the most difficult question they've had no it's not kadi wait till you see what we're going to throw at you this is all from the 8th 9th and 10th century way over here i don't care about that i want to know what's happened in the 7th century i want to know what's happened in the very beginning i want to know what happened at Uth, the time of uthman in 652 i want to know where that uthmanic recension is that you're always talking about where's the original quran and that's what Adnan tried to say. Adnan tried to bring that in. Do you notice? What is the Quran that he claimed was the Uthmanic Quran? The Husseini Quran in Cairo. Right. What an idiot. Wow. Claiming that, and did you notice what he claimed? He said it, it was from the original, but then he then quickly qualified himself. No, it's from the first century A8. So that means up to 719. Yeah. That this is before 719. Who in the world would ever accept that? 719? Nobody considers this to be even an 8th century Quran. It may be a late 8th century, but many people put this to the 9th century. What's more, it does not belong to the 63, the Islamic Awareness website, that he claimed where it's been housed. He said it's in the Islamic Awareness website. Go up on the Islamic Awareness website and see if it's part of the 63 fragments that they have listed there. Not at all. When they radio carbon date the parchment, are they... The, it's the parchment itself that they're dating, or is it the ink on the paper, or is it both? How does it's that work? The, it's, the, it's the actual skin, it's the actual material. Mm -hmm. They carbon date uh, the, the material. And basically, the dating tells you when the animal was killed, because it is vellum. It comes from goats. Uh, it is basically goat skin. And mm -hmm. it is highly likely that it was penned, it was written, According to the study of paleography, even the text, it is very, very ancient. It is early Hijazi script. It mm -hmm. is very, very early Arabic writing. So both uh, basically facts correlate. Okay. The dating of the parchment and the text. Making mistake after mistake after mistake. He's saying that radio radiocarbon dating not only dates the parchment, it also dates the ink. Nobody in their right mind would make that kind of statement. Obviously, he doesn't know what he's talking about. The Birmingham folios is just two pages front and back. It's parts of it, and in zero 20. That's it. Yeah. It's not a whole manuscript. It's just few. What's more, nothing on it is about Islam. All of it is about Moses. It's about the seven sleepers of Ephesus. And if you look at these, these stories, these stories have nothing to do with Islam. These are pre-Islamic stories. Right. What's more, 
The dates are 568 to 645. When was the Quran finally canonized under Uthman? In 652. So even if you go with the latest date, the last date, it's seven years before the Quran was even finally canonized, finally written down. Yeah. So how could it be the original Quran? Secondly, on top of that, carbon dating is so inexact. The fact that they have to put from 568 to 645, that's almost 100 years wingspan, proves that there is this is a very inexact sign. Thirdly, what you notice, and this is what you brought up, when you talk about carbon, radiocarbon dating, you can, only be, you can only look at when the animal died. So the parchment may have been created at that time, let's say 645. They're going to go with the latest date, obviously. Let's just say it was created 645. When was it written on? That could be decades later. That could be many years later. What's interesting is you cannot date the ink because the ink is amalgamation of many different pigments that come from many parts of the world, that okay. come from many yeah, only date one. Nobody, nobody ever dates the ink. You can only date the parchment. Now, so I'm not made enormous, enormous mind mistakes, but it's what, it's what he has done as a favor. And this is what I want to talk about. In this whole thing, everything has been giddy up, get up, get up, get up, which is way back in the 8th and 9th century. I don't want to talk about the get up. I would rather they talk about the manuscripts. So who has done us a favor by now pushing us into the manuscripts but Adnan Rashid, which means now this week, we're going on the offensive. Remember, Kay, I said always, 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 the best defense is a good offense. Always put them on the defense. Notice nobody's talking about Bible manuscripts. No one's talking about the historicity of Jesus. None of this. It's all against Islam, and it's all against the Quran. The one thing the Muslims don't want us to talk about is this. I think we have really do have Islam in a corner. I've never seen it this easy for me. I've never seen it this exciting. I've never seen this many admissions, and I've never seen Muslims starting to censor themselves. Since when do you censor in an interview of 25 minutes midway through the week? Why do you do that? Unless, of course, you don't have answers. I would suggest that this may be getting, this may be the beginning of the crack of Islam starting to open. And I don't think we're just going to have a few. I think we're going to have thousands, maybe even millions who will finally leave Islam over this one question. Let's see. You will never succeed because the pens have been lifted, papers are dry. We have the physical copies from the first century, from the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They are exactly the same as this, what we read in our mm -hmm. homes. Husseini Mosque manuscript is from the first century of Islam. It's in Cairo. It is 99%, 99% complete. What is the Quran that he claimed was the Uthmanic Quran? The Husseini Quran in Cairo. Right. What an idiot.